I'm a past participant um, and we are here in Washington in a field trip and um, with, with the theme is building partnership capacity. Today is our first working day and um, I'm quite um, uh, looking forward in meeting some of the officials, especially today we have the meeting with National Security Council officials that um, well, I'm looking forward in getting uh, questions to them and seeing what's their opinion about, especially uh, some of our theme, a studied theme like um, uh, transnational uh, organized crime and uh, terrorism and what would be the strategies in future. Um, we have uh, had the meeting with uh, the officials in National Security Council. Uh, from my point of view, it was very interesting as uh, we um, there the, there have been discussed um, issues which I'm particularly interested, and I was impressed by um, the way uh, by by the the fact that those issues are also on uh, the the main agenda of National Security Council, such as energy security and the role of, uh, uh, the, the role of uh, Turkey in, uh, in the close future and uh, the transnational uh, organized crime and uh, I would cyber security and other issues which we have particularly have discussed and uh, have um, really um, went, went on, uh, on discussing them uh, very, uh, very closely in our seminars during our bus program. Uh, so this was the first part of the day, which um, I really, I was really impressed with the, the information I got from there. Uh, and then in the second part, we have the meet, we had the meeting in um, the new uh, new mu news museum, how which um, I was uh, impressed by the uh, the free. Uh, Officials, very representative of media, United States media, such as uh, the uh, vis uh, visual um, news maker and radio, uh, the representative of uh, Voice of America and the representative of national radio station. Um, and uh, I was uh, yeah. actually, I really liked the way they have approached the, the new social media thing. Uh, and the, uh, the capacity uh, to take it into consideration as we had uh, uh, seen the power of it in the ups, up spring, uh, Arab upspring lately, uh, this year. And um, it was an interesting way to approach from traditional media, uh, media towards a new, new dev development into this, uh, this area. And then uh, it was interesting approach from um, as we are uh, all the participants in uh, in this uh, program are from practically as far as I know from 46 countries uh, that um, I realized not not only uh, Eastern countries have the same issues I have realized that also in United States uh, they have been dealt with issues like we are dealing so actually uh, I do believe right now in terms of globalization there is not any more uh, security issues cannot be dealt uh, can be dealt only by United States I do believe that those security issues uh, are um, up to each country whether it's in Europe or in Asia or United States so um, it's interesting way to, to approach the whole thing. We've been uh, meeting the uh, FBI officials and uh, we just uh, have uh, understood their perspective in regards to cyber attacks and cyber terrorism and um, uh, weapon uh, of mass destructor, destruction programs. Uh, and organized crime and how do they deal with all those things. I was particularly impressed, impressed by cyber um, and the, the, th the way um, St uh, Steven Tervinsky explained uh, about uh, how do FBI, what's FBI perspective in regards to this and um, 
uh, as uh, we have discussed in our seminars in George, uh, uh, J, uh, J. C. Marshall, uh, here I got some new perspective. Just like uh, what, what would be the scope of this? So uh, the scope would be disruptions, um, would be destruction and uh, exploitation. And how do they do this? They, they would do it in four ways. And I would say, uh, as far as I understood this, uh, by um, uh, it's supplying a biosupplying chain um, and remote intrusion, uh, which is uh, uh, you don't you don't get enough uh, security uh, from the software, uh, close ac access, and people from um, like uh, smart brains in university, which we really uh, want to uh, break into security systems of companies that are. Um, national organizations. So uh, I was particularly impressed by the, uh, this speech, but in the same time I kind of liked the perspective offered by the uh, second speaker in regards to weapon of mass destruction programs. Um, then uh, uh, I kind of uh, liked uh, the, the way the third speaker and uh, his um, um, operational uh, assistant. I don't quite know exactly what Monica position was. Um, and in regards to uh, the organized uh, crime uh, organization they have made in, in the Balkans and uh, I really think they are doing a good job and I would really kind of like to know more about it. But as the time was short I just didn't get enough of it. And then in the second part of, day, uh, of the day, we have uh, visited the uh, Supreme uh, Court of Justice. Then uh, there we were um, uh, welcomed by uh, Ant uh, the Justice Antonin um, Scalia, uh, where uh, I, once again I got a different perspective in regards to the way uh, justice is made in the United States. And I could make a comparison towards what I knew. Uh, it's being done in Europe and uh, although the time was short, uh, at least I was able to, to get some hints in, 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 so I can do my future re research in regards to, to that. Uh, we've been uh, introduced in what, what does really mean uh, working in, in Pentagon and uh, some details about how Department of Defense is working and some uh, historical uh, issue. Then in the second part of, um, of our so-called trip in, in Pentagon we've been assisting to the uh, lectures of uh, three, um, three important persons just like uh, Dr. Celeste Wander, uh, Admiral uh, Richard Schneider and Jim, uh, Jim Towson Jr. Uh, most of the conversation has been uh, done around building partnership, uh, partnership capacity. Each one of the speakers spoke from his point of view. Um, I would... Um, uh, the lectures were, were nice. Um, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Wallens, uh, Wallander, uh, sorry, uh, was quite um, ex exprimating what really her department is doing and how do they try to uh, work on a uh, Russian uh, partnership and future strategies and policies. While um, um, Admiral uh, Richard Sn uh, Snyder uh, went on more um, methodical issue. It's he kind of explained to us. What really does it mean uh, empirically um, building partnership capacity and quite not saying a lot about how it really works in, into the Department of Defense. It was really helpful, uh, but I wish he could have gone into, uh, into more details and uh, speaking from a practical point of view, uh, what, how does really work having a partnership and giving some uh, some accurate examples uh, from uh, from his own experience. Then we have, uh, as a first speaker, we had, uh, as I said, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Tau uh, Jim Towson Jr. Uh, well, <clears throat> he was quite. Um, his talk was quite impressive, but I had the feeling that uh, he did not want to to. To speak a lot, he did not want to uh, be um, 
he was not accurate in most of his explanation. The explanation were generic, and I would have expected more again uh, background information, not uh, classified information, but I would have expect expected more background uh, experiences. Um, in the end of the day. <clears throat> In the second part of the day, uh, we went and uh, have visited Arlington Cemetery. We have uh, assisted to some uh, change of patrol. Um, it was interesting. It's, it is interesting how the United States is preserving the values and identity, and I think also tradition. Um, it would be great um, if uh, all the Ameri American citizens would be able to at least get once there and see what's happening. Um, for, from my point of view, it is amazing and I wish my country would be able to preserve identity the way United States did and is doing for the, the soldiers, even if they are uh, unknown soldiers. This is, this is the last day of our uh, field trip for us. Actually, not, not the last day, it's the last working, uh, working day here in Washington. We just finished the last session uh, uh, with our visit in the Department of State. Uh, it was quite interesting, but actually I'd like to speak of uh, more on uh, overall of program ever since we are here. So I would say that ever since I'm here and I came with some expectations, my expectations were, were, were high, of course they were high. <laughs> so, um, I, um, I was kind of looking to uh, to see what is uh, U.S. perspective towards many issues uh, on securities, uh, security, international security, just like we are studying on uh, Marshall Center. But besides that, I just wanted to to hear what would be some official point of view uh, from the policymakers. Well, with some of uh, some of the departments, we've been. Uh, uh, They've been, they've been very helpful and clear uh, to the, towards policy. Some of, some of them, they were diplomatic, of course, they were diplomatic because this is their job. Uh, but um, at, the end, uh, at the end of all, uh, I would say my expectation would have been high on uh, uh, regional perspective, just like uh, we, I, would, I was interested on the policy towards Russia, on the policy towards China, uh, on the, what would be US policy towards um, uh, Caucas Caucasus area, and specifically Turkey, and uh, issues towards energy security, uh, contra-terrorism, and uh, uh, counter-narcotics. Uh, there have been touched most of those points. Uh, we've been uh, People have been practically, as as, as I felt, uh, good, good. They had good intention towards uh, answering the questions. Uh, there have not been uh, too many discussion towards China and Russia. I would have expected more, uh, more info and more, uh, well, you know, to understand what would be the dis the discussions towards towards this. Uh, while I'm going back home, so I'm going to be able to evolve into discussions and uh, be able to look for, uh, you know, to, just to get some hints and be able to look for uh, for more in. While probably I would be working in a uh, in a think tank office or something like that, I would be I have a, I would be able to have a starting point. So um, I didn't quite get much of that, and I would practically have expected to get more um, background info on um, uh, each state department, each each uh, unit of uh, of the state's organizational point of view, because as one of our colleagues has mentioned today in in the classroom, we've been uh, for a while we've been confused. Uh, because we don't know who and what and what's the pers uh, what's the structure and in, in the name of who speaking. So this was one of uh, the missing points. But overall, uh, the program is great. Uh, I'm uh, I'm leaving from here with uh, with great um, great, great ex ex experience because going uh, if I compare the seminar discussion in Marshall Center and the, the discussions here with the officials. This is uh, more or less background information. Uh, it's uh, like hot information. 
Uh, so uh, can be, as we know, the information is uh, is useful if it if it comes in the right moment. Uh, if it's coming after five minutes, uh, maybe it's not useful at all because other people get it. Uh, so I do believe that um, the the field trip in here was really useful to me, and I'm looking forward to participate in more events. Uh, like uh, like this one, uh, and for this uh, for this moment, I just need to, and I want to have the occasion to thank to the organi uh, organizers of this uh, field trip. Uh, everything was perfect, organizational point of view. Everything was in time. Um, I d I didn't hear any of the colleagues that uh, they were unpleased with something or they had uh, an issue unsolved. So, um, I really want to thank you, uh, uh, Cap uh, I think it's Captain last week, I don't know exactly, and, and he's